As I was looking through the last video, I realized there's a few other things I want to say about the inverse square law before we start coding. We'll get to coding, don't worry, but all oh, these laws are just so beautiful. We got, mm, okay, look, I did a little Googling and I found this image. This image comes up right, first thing when you type inverse square law is this image. And this image basically says everything that I want to say about the inverse square law. Essentially, we have a light source here and you have rays coming out of the light source. All these rays, all these rays. And what they've done in this image is they have four rays coming out. Four rays, four rays. And as those four rays hit the side of the sphere here, you essentially have a square on the side of that sphere. If I remove all my markings, you can see this square right there. And so what they, they call that is intensity, all right? And if you think of all the rays just coming out from light source, going through this, this square here, uh, as you get further and further away, these, these rays are going to spread out more and more and more. And I even thought about uh, bringing my cat into the video. Uh, if I take my cat's skin and kind of uh, fold it a little bit, you see all those hairs, they go raw, crazy. You know, they spread. Uh, but my cat was just not in the mood. Uh, I got the scratches to prove it. Anyway, uh, same idea here. If these are cat hairs, they're coming out lots and lots and lots. And so as you're closer to the light source here, and all those rays are coming through the square, it's going to be brighter. But then, oh, look, look, here's that same square. Let's double the distance, or double the radius in this case, but same idea. Double the distance, and oh, look, instead of having one square, you have one, two, three, four squares. Four square, that was a good elementary school game I played as a kid. Anyway, so we went out two, but the fall off here, the same amount of energy coming out of this square is the same amount of energy coming out of four squares. And so the energy is a lot less intense. We take that intensity and divide it by the square of the distance. You see, huh, huh? See where this inverse square law comes from? And then, oh, look, 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 we're gonna go out three units here. Now we have nine squares, same amount of energy, but they're hitting, uh, they're, they're, it's just not as intense. Okay, There's more, they're more spread out. So there you go, there's the inverse square law. I kind of wanted to give it some physics. But then I also noticed as I was watching the last video when I was showing the, the formula we use in graphics, um, I hope you read that article, kind of gives some physics behind what's going on there. But really, in the end, it's just a hack. Because uh, we love hacking in graphics and we like to add knobs and controllers and that's what those uh, constants are about. But let's go back to this, this graphing calculator. Don't blink, I'm gonna put that formula up here again. And here you go, here's the formula again, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the inverse square law, pure inverse square, again, if I can type it. And as I was watching me talk in the last video about this, this formula, something hit me, something hit me. The max our hardware will provide is one. All right, this is one, in fact, I can even graph one. Let's graph one, give me another one. Y equals one, oh, that's, <laughs> Oops, y equals one. All right, the max our hardware will provide is one. So what happens in this case when our distance is less than one? What happens? Well, we're, we basically tell the hardware, I want a lot of light. All right, this is, this is we have a, a vertical asymptote, and that actually reminds me of something I'm going to talk about in the surgeon level playlist about asymptotes that video is coming up soon but we have a vertical asymptote where this function is going to approach this asymptote but we'll never touch it and then once you divide by zero then everything explodes but i had a friend once tell me well dividing by zero how many times does zero go into one well zero goes into one infinite number of times you can just keep chucking it in uh, but then some of my hardcore mathematician friends like no no you can't think of it that way and i'm like but i like thinking of it that way because it looks like uh Everything's going to infinity here. Anyway, I'm not going to debate that here. We're not worried about that. I want to write some graphics. Uh, from here, oops, from here, zero on the horizontal here. This is distance, okay? From zero to one right here, we're basically saying max out the light. Yeah, we're going to tell the hardware, give me all this light. But the hardware's are like, look, I can only turn it all the way up. Uh, you ask me to go higher, that's fine. I'll just leave it at one. Okay, so it's, it's like we're physically clamped by the hardware. When we say hardware, give me more than one, and our light will saturate. Um, so if you want like this hardcore saturated thing, and then, oh, now we have some fall off. 
if you think, oh, we're going to have a big bright spot here, if we have R, G, and B all be maxed out, we're going to have a big bright white spot, and then at a very sharp point here, we're going to fall off. Um, yeah, okay, if that's what you want, great. Great, but if that's not what you want, then going back to this constant here, we have to at least say, yo, stop at one. All right, stop at one. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this. We're, we're done with this guy here. I'm going to get rid of there. So stop at one. So you see, oh, we're always stopping at one. And I did this in the last video. Uh, but then here, as the distance falls off, then, then oh, okay, at one. We're not going to have big, bright, saturated white spot. Just start at one, and then as you get further and further away from the point being lit, okay, remember, we're calculating this um, with regard to the distance from the light to the surface that we're lighting. If we want to get even more real, we could turn around and say, well, let's apply the inverse square law again um, from the camera's point of view. So that'd be two of these inverse square law or this attenuation formula, the full attenuation, the full graphics attenuation formula. We'd first apply it from the light source down to the surface that we're lighting, and then we'd apply it from the surface that we're lying to the eye, which would be pretty extreme. Uh, and I'm not sure if I've ever seen that done professionally. I think all I've seen uh, professionally is, hey, let's just attenuate the light from the the light source to the surface, then we'll pretend like the viewer's just right there, even though the viewer could be far away. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. you can apply it however you want to apply it. Uh, what's correct? And artists will tell you this all the time. What is the right answer? The one that looks good. Okay, as long as you give them the right knobs, they adjust it, fine. All right, so anyway, going back to this formula, if I drop a one here, I'm saying, hey, at least stop at one. Now, now, I showed you in the last video, we could do this at point 0.5. And now from here to one, oh, look, you're going to be bright, saturated spot. And then you'll have some fall off. Okay, and then we can even add some of this. Oh, look, look, saturated and then a sharp fall off. If I increase this, like 20. All right, saturated, saturated, boom, fall off, it's gone. So that will give you a real bright white spot. Uh, with just a shade of, just a, the edge will be just ever so shadowed, shadowed, not shadowed, shadowed's not the right term, uh, ever so, it'll fall off, uh, I don't want to say gently, it'll fall off quickly, but it won't be, bam, it's done. Anyway, I can go all day long graphing this and throwing these, this graph up. Really, we just got to code it up, but I, I think it's, it's helpful to see the math here. You look at the math here and then see what the function's doing, and then, oh, yeah, we're going to go, uh, hit some sliders, put some sliders, and we'll actually see this happen in our scene. So next video, I promise I will code. Boom. <laughs>